Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Anissa Bryan and for this tutorial I did a half Jack Skeleton and half Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas and this time around I am doing a new makeup tutorial and posting every Sunday for 30 days of Halloween and I'm thinking of sticking to characters only and some like 2016 trends that I need to improve on so I really did need to improve on my skeleton and this is an improvement for me yeah I found this picture on Instagram this poster is Shannon Kibble MUA and she did this skeleton and Jack skeleton and Sally split look perfectly so I did this specifically for our beginners so I hope you like it and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and buy my book trouble at girls united so linked to my book and the makeup products that I use will be in the description down below and yeah subscribe <music> To protect our skin, we are priming with moisturizer. We are using Pond's Rejuvenation Anti-Wrinkle Cream and Say Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer Foundation in the color 8. And we are using a medium sized fluffy blending eyeshadow brush and we're dipping into the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and into the charcoal gray shade called Vroom Vroom and we are tapping it all over the right side of our face. We are not swiping, we're not worrying about blending, we are going to do two or three layers to apply pigmentation from the color. And then we're going to worry about blending the harsh edges afterwards. Now we are dipping into the black face paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette dupe. This is $30 plus shipping on Amazon. The rest of the colors doesn't perform as well as the black does unfortunately. So yeah, we are using a small detailed round edge eyeshadow brush and we are going to draw the eye shape around the blank space we have left on our skin for the eyes and we're doing an oval and we're gonna fill it in with the black face paint then we are dipping into the eyeshadow palette in a dark black eyeshadow called fast lane using the same brush and we're going to set the face paint in place so it doesn't look wet and glossy now for the Sally side we are dipping into some Morphe James Charles palette we are using the blues in the first two rows. You can see we're dipping into a greenish blue, a turquoise teal color. 
and the rest of the blues have a deeper plum purple shade undertone and we're doing darkest to lightest so we're going to dip in using a medium size fluffy blending eyeshadow brush from Becky G's Tresclusive Beauty and we are going to tap on the left side all over the face and we're going to worry about blending the harsh edges afterwards. So using a smaller round edge detailed eyeshadow blending brush, we are going to smile from the corner of our lips, we are drawing a curved line upwards. And for skeleton teeth, we are going to draw the stitches from the Frankenstein stitches because I don't know how to draw skeleton teeth. So we're doing the Frankenstein stitches. We're going to draw a curved line upwards and little tiny lines in between. So yeah, you'll be able to see it more clearly on the Sally side. Now we are dipping into the Dream Palette by Sigma Times Beauty Bird and we are using a turquoise teal blue shade, greenish blue shade called Birdie and with a round edge fluffy eyeshadow brush. We are going to fill in our eyes and we're just going to put it all over the crease and blend it in. I think we're going to use only one eyeshadow for this look. Day. We're not going in too crazy with the eyeshadow details. Now we are dipping into the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette and we're using the shade Mystic Ice, this turquoise teal blue green shade and charcoal gray eyeshadow called Zero Gravity. And we're just going to apply it all over the face for to blend it in with a medium sized fluffy eyeshadow blending brush and we're just going to worry about adding the pigment and we're going darkest to lightest so we're just making sure that this appears more lighter and yeah gives it more contrast and dimension in the look so that nothing is too dark and overpowering We are now going into the Your So Chic palette by King Beauty and we're dipping into this lighter blue shade. So for the Sally side, we are going in with the blue shade so that we can lighten it up a bit and make it appear more brighter. Going from darkest to lightest. Perfect! Now, with the same brush, a smaller detailed round edge blending eyeshadow brush, we are dipping into the black face paint to draw two stitches on the Sally side. One at the top corner and one on the bottom corner from our lips. To complete the look, we are using a deeper vampy bright red lipstick from Rimmel London in the shade 500. Now this is optional, we are using Rare Beauty Mascara on the lashes. You can apply your false lashes if you want. To finalize the look, we are adding more dimension. The face paint on the skeleton side looks more white, so for the photos, we are adding a beige eyeshadow on top of the gray 
So this is the shade Lynn from the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. And we're just going to apply it all over the face on the Jack Skeleton side using the same brush. And yeah guys, that's the finished look. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hi guys, I hope you like this makeup look that I did. If you do, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.